Thanks for coming to the Fox 7 Austin YouTube channel and checking out our exclusive digital show, The Good Day Austin. Was that Wanda. enough energy for you, Zach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's always very critical about our I know, energy. But, but like I, one, uh, one I'm to pretty, five, I mean, that was probably an eight. Okay, eight? all right. Okay. Okay. Well, seven, seven point eight. Wow, okay, 7. Right. Okay, it was 7.8. Yeah. Yeah. Zach's our energy yeah. judge when we start. Yeah. I'm just, I was just curious. I gave it a little interrupt. more energy, but that yeah. was that was well, I'm gonna, I'm definitely a not a <laughs> whole. Right. Hang on, buckle up. Here we go. I'm Casey, one of the Good Day Austin anchors. Casey. And all And with me, our fellow anchors, Amanda, meteorologist Zach, and digital content manager, Donnie Wong. <laughs> We're going to be highlighting and talking about some of our favorite segments from our morning show. 9.5, 6.5. Oh, wow. I, Zach's always on my energy, you know, that you may have missed in previewing some of the upcoming events happening this weekend. But first, I want to take over the show again, just like last <laughs> yeah. week. Ten. And I'm going to show you some cool weather videos. So let's start the Big Apple. <laughs> yes, you're looking at dense fog taking over New York City visibility. About a quarter of a mile caused some uh, travel headaches in and out of the airports up there. This is a view from Queens. That is wow. some thick fog. It's pretty thick, yeah. yeah. It normally doesn't get that bad around here, though, right, Zach? Uh, usually the foggy month for us is February. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I don't, I mean, it I don't could remember it ever being that bad yeah, not yeah. 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 You know, we haven't had a lot of moisture rain. Well, so that's, that's true. Yes. You need that's moisture. True. And when it's been super <laughs> dry, it's hard to get fog. All right, let's go to Alaska. That's on my bucket list. Check things out up there. And also check out the Northern Lights Ooh. or the Aurora Borealis. We're visible over parts of the southeast portion of the state. This is a time lapse footage captured by FAA operated weather camera about 30 miles north of Anchorage. And you can see the waves of green light in the night sky. See it there in the corner? That's cool. Oh, That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That is cool. Now, I feel like in the other parts, like in Norway or Scandinavia, Norway is usually mm -hmm. where it is. It's a lot brighter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Does it make you travel through time? Remember that movie, Frequency? Remember that movie? Remember that. There was an Aurora Borealis, and, and he could hear... Uh, uh, Who started was, that movie? Like his daughter or something, Jim right? Jim Caviezel was, was the main actor. Who, Jennifer oh Connelly. No. Oh. I could keep guessing, but probably the older be wrong. Actor. What is wrong with me? Were they at F1 this week? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to that, Zach. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right. To the next weather video we go. It was a chilly start to the day around here, but nothing like what's happening up north. Yeah, they're starting to see some snow already. Man, look at those huge flakes. Where is that? I don't know. Let's scroll up in the prompter. <laughs> no, it's not in the prompter. Oh, it's not. Oh, it is. Uh -oh. No, it's no. in the next part. Oh, it's in the next part. Oh, yeah, this is New I Mexico, know. right? Oh, this okay. is New Mexico, okay. yeah. Okay. South Central New Mexico. South Central New yes. Mexico. <laughs> yeah, a little winter wonderland. Um, some yeah, heavy yeah. snows, strong winds. Rio Dozo. Is that a Rio Dozo? Yeah, yes. down in Sierra yes. Blanca mountain range. Yeah. Uh, they said they had a estimate about two to five inches of snow in the higher elevations. It's that time of year. These snow events start to unfold in the Rockies, like in Grand Junction, Colorado, where you can see snow laden trees in Colorado National Monument. Officials say this was the first good snow of the season. They're getting round two this week. So that so might mean pretty. it could be a yeah. good um, ski season for them, right? If they get this much snow. Well, it's got to keep maybe. up, though. Oh, yeah. so it can build yeah, yeah. on this itself just before the, it melts. The base. Now is that Colorado? I don't know if you know the Colorado National Monument. Is that part of the um, uh, what's the canyon? The out? Grand Canyon? No, the one out in um, near Canyon in Texas. What's the one? Molly would kill me. The Cap Rock? The ben? second biggest canyon. Big Ben? No, no it's not Big Ben. Oh my Our gosh. brains are not. Working. I know. Today's not a day for <laughs> wow. us. Let's just move on to next story. We'll Google you're, that too. You yeah, we'll hear all those ben. clicks? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of our YouTube page. Right. Polidoro. That's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. 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 Didn't About even have to. It came to me. It came to uh, me. Yeah, all right. Sorry. All right. Now we'll start to bring the viewers back. To this <laughs> now onto the story of a feisty wombat that was saved from the pile of sticks on a swollen river in Australia. Down under. Wildlife officials feisty were alerted wombat. about the animal who was stranded on the pile of sticks. They were able to hoist the wombat to safety and release the animal back into the wild. The wombat not was not hurt, but exhausted from spending time on the Stick Island. Australia has seen flooding in some areas. Oh. What's a wombat? It's right there. You're looking at it. <laughs> it's a marsupial of some kind. Oh, oh okay. okay. So it's the um, same family as kangaroo. Um, I think. It, what do you call it? Like, same genus or genus? Is that what it is? I just used the word family. <laughs> is that what it is? Family. Same ballpark. How about that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's a pretty cool video. I thought. Very cool video. All right, I'm done with the weather video.
It, do you feel like that wombat's feisty enough for you? Yes. Very. It's pretty it's feisty, feisty, yeah. Pretty feisty. Oh, it, it, the wombat like, probably has claws, too. We're trying to tell him, hey, settle down. We're trying to rescue you. And he's like, no, I like the pile of well, sticks. He's, he's scared. You're <laughs> like, mostly because they're in the big net. I'd be like, whoa. Yeah, exactly. what is this? Oh, I'm unsafe. As Donnie Ooh. pointed out, oh, great Oh, oh I told you there were claws. Oh. 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 oh, my gosh. It's kind of like a beaver. It's like a kangaroo. Vicious, vicious wombat. Feisty. Feisty, yeah. Feisty. Good feisty. band name. That'll Good be, band name. That could feisty be our band wombat. name. The Feisty Wombats? The feisty yes. Wombat. <laughs> yeah, I like it, right? If you're watching, you can't steal that, okay? That's ours. <laughs> Trademarked, copyright. By the way, it's Dennis Quaid. That's what I was trying to think of. Oh, Frequency. Okay, okay. Okay. Dennis Quaid and Jim Caviezel, there was an Aurora Borealis, and he could hear his dad, his dead dad That's in the radio. Oh, okay. I remember the Great movie, movie now. Yes, and yeah. it takes place in the past, right? The, uh, Dennis Quaid is in the past. Yes. His dad is dead in present day, and he can hear his dad yes. in the past through the, the ham radio. Thanks to the Aurora Borealis. I think there was a TV show that. off that. Oh, okay. really it was. Yeah. It did not last long. No, it didn't. Was it on Fox? I don't think Hopefully so. Hopefully not. Okay. No, All right. That's, no. a, that's a review of an old movie. All right. Now, now All right. Well, let's go on with the things that we might have missed on Good Day. Um, you might have missed our coverage, but it would have been hard to miss everything happening in town. For the Formula One U.S. Grand Prix race, Tara was out at Coda all weekend. Got a look at what was going on before the event. You know, she even got to interview McLaren Racing CEO Zach Brown. You can see that interview and all the other coverage we have in the links below this video. And Zach was roasting me about it. Yes. Because last we had week, one celebrity hill. Here. I said that there were a lot of celebrities in uh, town, right? Only one. So, <laughs> obviously, the ones that we were oh, okay. going to talk about, we'll, okay. we'll recap for the people who might have missed it. Post Malone, Kid Leroy, or The Kid Leroy, and Zed performed, as well as Green Day and Ed Sheeran. They all had concerts around town. I mentioned Danica Patrick. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Zach didn't think that was enough. <laughs> yeah. So, I looked, and Ooh. there are Pharrell, Pharrell. Serena really? Williams. Oh. Scott Eastwood. Oh, that's Spice Girl Jerry Hollowell. I think that's yeah. Ginger Spice, right? Yes. Yes. Um, John Legend, wow. um, for you reality show fans, Vanderpump Rules stars Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz. Chloe Grace Moretz. Shaq was here. Shaq Becky was here? G. This is Brooklyn Beckham. Well, I needed to make what? sure that Zach knew. <laughs> Brad Pitt was here. Brad Pitt. Really? And. Will Arnett and Robin Thicke, who we should have had them come onto the show because, yeah. you know, Will Arnett hosts Lego Masters. Yeah. yeah. And Robin Thicke is on The Mass Singer. Well, I did that thing so. with the with the, with the the podcast, the Amazon podcast that Will Arnett hosts. Oh, yeah, with Michelle Beadle and... and, and um, uh, the Kid Marrow. Yes. And so Will Arnett was not there during the interview. Yeah. Well, Oopsie. he was here partying it up. Uh, he's too busy doing Lego yeah. Masters. And I think Tierra said she may have met Brad Pitt. Possibly. Brad Pitt was that what do you was mean, possibly? that was all that was in my feed. <laughs> she Zach doesn't like teases. <laughs> she was very busy. Was very busy. I think we was that enough celebrities for you? Yes. Okay. That's plain. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to. Oh, make... It would have been great to know that last week. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't Can't know if do any of them officially now. like said they were coming. But none of us knew Brad Pitt was going to be here. Yeah. yeah. I think they just kind of came. Yeah. And Tim Cook came came as well. The Apple oh, CEO. Apple? Yeah. He was he was here. Well. He's, he's... Wow, where was this assistance last week, Amanda? Ah. Jeez. Look, I <laughs> found it on the Twitter. <laughs> on the Twitter. On the Elon Twitter. Musk here? I believe he was, sure. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if he was at the race. Okay. In the latest edition of Keeping Score, Libby Farrow and Emily Rowe headed out to Dartema, Boston. A family yeah, business has been around for six yeah, years. The There's ball. games and a full-on dart range where and Libby and Natalie tested out their count. skills. And the team with the most Congratulations, Libby. All right. Libby won. I, know. I feel like she's wow. kind of pulling, pulling in the, the stats closer, yeah. right? Adley, yeah. she says it in, in the story, Adley was a sore loser. Uh. <laughs> and Adley was very, very cocky. They were very intense. Going in. Going after each Number other. Number one rule, don't. Aim for the head. What'd yes. she do? I she think aimed aim for, for the head. head. I think she got Bam. hit in the head a couple times. Because she said she plays a lot of games where she aims for the head. <laughs> so, uh, she's used to aiming What's for the head. What's a game? Not real life, yes. Natalie. Yes. If you're watching, probably not, but. <laughs> so, uh, yay, Libby. I'm, yeah. te I'm team Libby. And that looks pretty fun. We should go try that sometime. That yeah, we fun. should. Have like a good day outing there. Good day outing. You might get tired. and. <laughs> you can go home and sleep afterwards, Amanda. <laughs> Man, I was like, I don't like post-show activity. <laughs> <laughs> I need a nap. What do you call this? That's her, well, yes. this is still uh, work, this, technically. I'm yes. still working hours. Yeah. Well, Amanda would be here anyway, so uh, uh, just put her to use. <laughs> Well, the Weird Homes Tour is going on on October 29th, and you can check out some of the homes that truly make Austin weird. One of them is the Bloom House in West Austin. Um, I've always wanted to check it out. It looks pretty yeah. cool. It was purchased in 2017, and the um, owners went 
made it and uh, renovated it for about two years extensively. Um, it represents the, uh, according to them, the symbolic interaction of man and nature. Yeah. yeah. Um, other homes featured are Morningwood and the Keep. I think Morningwood's the one that has all the like. Um, Toys and stuff <laughs> like the. <laughs> wow. All right. Where is this? Maturity this level. <laughs> it's in West Austin. You're somewhere. the one who said it. It's yeah. the name of the place. Okay. The name yeah. of the place. <laughs> just go. Uh, it's funny. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. I've always wanted to see this house. Um, and I actually think it's available for rent. I think. Uh, that looks like you're living in a cave. Yeah. It does. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost the name now. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got it, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. There's a ZZ Top song. Right, with I didn't title. think about I'm it, to be honest. Okay? Hopefully, I got the name right. What if it's not well, called that? What if that's not it? <laughs> it's been a day, folks. It's been uh, a day. All right. Well, there's a new VR experience out at Sandbox VR in the domain north side. Natalie Rowe and some other members of the Fox 7 Austin team were part of a zombie attack in the Deadwood Valley experience. Ooh. It looks pretty cool. Then you've done it before, right, Yeah, Casey? yeah, I did. Uh, with Chelsea and uh, uh, Jera and I guess that was it. It was just Chelsea and Jera and me. Um, yeah, we had fun. We did a zombie thing, too. Yeah. And it's so, so cool because they give you this video. So yeah, you see yourself like kind of in oh. the game, but they also show you like outside of the game. Yeah, and it goes back and oh, forth. Oh, that is so cool. It is really cool. I'm, I've actually wanted to go back for a birthday party or something. I feel like my parents would even enjoy this because you're literally in the game. You put the headset on and it's Oculus or whatever, mm -hmm. yes, Oculus technology. Yeah. So you're looking up and you see up. You're looking down and you see things that are down. And you don't need to know much. You don't need to have a lot of skill. You just point, shoot. It's a lot of fun. It was pretty cool. Which it, was the one you I did? Suggest. You did Zombie 2, right? It was a zombie thing, Okay, too, I think yeah. it, this is like a continuation of that one or oh, a different okay. version of like it. Like the sequel? Because I think the one you did was called like Deadwood Mansion. That's, and I think yeah, this one yeah, was yeah. called Deadwood Valley Oh, Deadwood yeah. Valley. Uh, Jara was saying there's like a different... <laughs> oh my God, you guys. <laughs> there's like a different um, <laughs> gameplay to it, I think. <laughs> you know what's so entertaining? Watching people play it. You're yeah. sitting yeah, back yeah. watching them and they're like... Because yeah. they're like screaming. And you're like, what's they screaming at? Yeah. The fall, uh, sh the fall show at Antiques Fair is going on in Round Top. Tierra headed there to take a look. A lot of fun antiquing fashions. Over 80 venues with about 4,000 vendors. That's it. Uh, there was just a, um, <laughs> there was just a big spread in Texas Monthly. Uh, about oh, really? Round Top. Yeah, it's like all of a sudden, um, the world has discovered Round Top. I've never been. I have, it's, it's on my list of okay. places I'd like to go, but it's one of those things where if you want to spend the night, you need to get a reservation now yeah. for next year's festival because there are so mm. few places oh, yeah. to stay. Yeah, it looks like they have such cool stuff there, too. Yeah. I know, yeah. Yeah. and I love antiques and refurbishing, yeah. things like that, so I'd, I'd like to go. I've been, and my wife loves places like that. That's where she spends her, all of her time, the stuff that Tierra was just showing. But when I went, I had to I had to suffer through a lot of stuff like that. But then there was, <laughs> which those no, are you that's cool. Enjoyed it's it. Cool. I, it's cool. It was cool. You have some cool like kind of unique yeah, antique yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of but, items. But there was a place that we went to toward the end that was just crap, just pure <laughs> pieces of crap. And easy, that is where I spent easy. all of it. You can say crap. <laughs> that's YouTube yeah, but anyway. People that have that. Well, he didn't say where it was. No, I mean, like, he meant I mean like crap, junk, like you know, junk. like like the leftover junk. That and that's the oh, stuff okay. that I like because it was an old broken down radio. And I could, it was covered in dust, and I said, this thing will be beautiful. I spent $8 on it. Oh. Is that what's on your desk? So you, no, that's, that's, I got that one years you ago. You know what oh. you need to do? You need a collection of old radios. I, well, I, 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 I know, no, I know, but if you start getting a collection, a larger collection, maybe then at that point your wife will allow you to, I hate to use the word allow, but may, maybe you allowed. can get yeah. a, a cabinet. <laughs> that's the right word. Okay. That is the right word. Um, no, I don't think she still would. The, the little radio that I'm talking about, she moves it from place to place, and she tries to just put it in the trash. Uh, <gasps> I love it. It's you a have cool. another child coming, so you don't need I know. a lot of stuff in the house. That's, that's what she says. Yep. You yep. can't side with her. So. Running out of the room in the house, yeah. <laughs> just being reasonable, Zach. <laughs> just being reasonable. Voice of reason. All right, well, now let's look at some of the things that are going to be happening around town this weekend. Austin FC gearing up for the big MLS Western Conference School Finals. Blue. We're looking at some of the video of the fans from the game Last weekend, they beat Dallas FC, the big win for them. Now they're going to play Los Angeles FC for a spot in the MLS Cup, which you can watch on Fox 7 Austin. Do you know at what time? Um, it's it's going to be probably like a, yeah, in the afternoon. Oh, it's an afternoon game. Yeah. Okay. yeah, the MLS Cup. You won't be able to watch the final. 
Like this weekend, it's not on. Yeah. Oh, it's not this weekend? No. The oh, MLS Cup, like the actual oh. one between. So if Austin FC wins this weekend, you'll get to watch them on Fox 7 okay. Austin, okay. if they win. Yeah. Okay. I think Austin so. FC beat LA twice. During the regular yeah, season, regular I think, season. yeah. So hopefully, make so it three it's just cool to see all the excitement out there oh, yeah. at the stadium. The and oh. So, oh, it's amazing. Good Do you luck. know what celebrities are going to be there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Donnie, I'll get back to you on that one. I'll get back to you on that one. Oh, so many. Matthew McConaughey. David Beckham. <laughs> this is in LA, though. <laughs> right, David Beckham. So there could be. Oh, there could probably be. could be a decent amount. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. I'll get back to you next week. Get back. Now watch some of the events that are happening in and around Austin. It's not too late to get tickets for Lucktoberfest out at Luck Ranch in Spicewood. The event features an amazing lineup, including Paul Cawthon, Orville Peck, and Tanya Tucker. It starts October 28th, goes through the 30th. October 29th will feature a Far West Cowboy-themed masquerade ball and fashion show. Ooh, that sounds like fun. I know. Orville Peck's really cool. I love Paul Cawthon. Um, our friend, is Jacqueline Sarkeesian, okay, is from, uh, Ty yeah, from Tyler, yeah, familiar. big fan, so yeah. shout out to him, he's pretty cool. Uh, meanwhile, the Austin Contemporary is hosting its first ever family-friendly <laughs> fundraiser, the very rary <laughs> fundraiser on October 30th from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. will benefit contemporary art experiences for local K-12 through students. That's going to be held at Laguna Gloria, and guests can experiment with movie makeup and make plaster hands. There will also be... Cocktails, music, and mocktails. Sounds like a pretty cool event. It does, yeah. Yeah, I've never been to Laguna Gloria. Have you guys? Neither. No. Yeah, I hear it's beautiful. That's fun. I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> Is that by That's the been lake? here so long. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm not sure. Did Petrovsky get there? Mm, possibly. Did I think it is a marriage venue, but I'm not 100. percent Okay, I think yeah. I've been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, pretty place. The field of light display is still going on at the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. But for one night, it's going to turn into a field of fright. No! All ages are encouraged to head out on Sunday, October 30th from 545 to 945, dressed in their best ghoulish garb <laughs> and coolest costumes. Guests will get to enjoy the display of nearly 28,000 solar-powered stems of ever-changing light. Huh. And intra times will be in 15-minute increments. That's good. That is a pretty cool, you guys haven't been out to see the Field of Light yet, no. right? I haven't done it yet. Mm. It's pretty awesome. It like, does look cool. You definitely want to go, like, I mean, they have, like, drinks and food and stuff, but, like, you want to go right when the sun's about to come back, because okay. then everything, the golden it's, hour. it's beautiful. It's it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That video was terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In Waco, uh, Magnolia, Chip and Joanna Gaines brand is hosting its seventh annual homecoming celebration. Silobration starting tomorrow, October 27th through the 29th. There's going to be a vendor fair with makers and artisans from around the country, a variety of food vendors, free daytime concerts, and two evening concerts. Just also, a new role. Thank you, Sam. All we get along. Ticket information available in the link below. I have to explain why we're laughing. Right there. Right there. <laughs> because I, haven't had, I didn't have time to edit some of the video. So we're looking. It, it will be edited when you see this. Yeah. yeah. But. When you I had to sing doing it, of <laughs> we're looking at um, yeah, what we, we're going to be talking about right now. Oh, okay. It's basically yeah. a bowl of ramen that we're staring at. But just leave it. That's <laughs> <laughs> why we're, so, we're laughing about it so much. Well, like I said, you know, if you're looking for a new spot to eat, the Tatsuya Group has expanded it, which I love the press release said it. Called it a culinary multiverse. Oh, yes. Is that brisket? Yes, so it's <laughs> yes. opened barbecue nice. ramen Tatsuya. Oh, it's called. Okay. The restaurant's good. located in the former Contigo spot. And it draws from Japanese and Texan cuisines, combining ramen with house smoked Central Texas barbecue. Mm -hmm. Menu items include, which I believe this is what we're looking at, the Texas Torisho, mm. which features the Tatsuya brisket. And there's also one called Nibo Nibo, and that's like an anchovy soy based ramen. Mm. Um, the chef owner, Tatsu, says that more than 80 hours are put into making wow. the ingredients into each bowl. It's so it's good stuff. Yeah, it does look That'll really be good, good though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I have some uh, breaking news for Zach because he's been dun, on my dun, case. Dun. For a Breaking while news. about the costume. Yes. Poll. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah who you already won? forgot. Yes. So I wrote it down. Um, Libby <laughs> had 225 votes, and Adelie had 314. Oh. oh. So yeah. Libby lost. I don't agree. We lost yeah. that. I don't agree. Oh, also, I printed out the um, <laughs> second bar and kitchen rooftop bar. If you have time this weekend on Saturday, October 29th, from 4 p.m. to midnight. The Rooftop Bar is hosting a Halloween celebration featuring spooky sips, treats, a costume contest, and music. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, they have shots. There's a vampire's bite shot, bourbon cream, vodka, grenadine. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Mad-Eye Mule, Witch's Brew. Yeah. Nice. Anything else? 
No, <laughs> that's it. I didn't realize okay. I printed it on that. But it was a good thing to have. So yeah, so Adelie won again. Oh. I'm not going to did I sufficiently yes. provide yes. all the answers yes. you needed from last week, Zach? You came through. You came okay. through. I'm awesome. impressed. I thought you just forgot about it. I'm like, huh? <laughs> oh, well. Remember, you can get details about all the stories we talked about in the links below this video. Thanks for watching the Good Day Austin Roundup. Subscribe to our channel and check out the rest of our content or head to fox Good Day Austin starts each weekday morning at 430.